uh, just cut uh, two four by four I'm doing them at seven feet tall so that's the first step I'm gonna end up cutting four of them and I'll do this step by step I'm cutting four of these at seven at four so by I'm four build a four foot arbor outside the outside I, I want to be about four feet so I got four feet right here four right here So I got four feet here, and I'll start doing some cutting strips. I pretty much laid out my slats already. <clears throat> I've cut my slats in four, so I've pre-marked some of my slats. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to not just drill a pilot hole, but drill a hole completely through here. So I already pre-marked it. One and a half and two and a half inches. I pre drill the hole all the way through the small bit, drill bit, all the way through. And I'll do this with each slat. I use two bolts in here or two nails, whatever you prefer, so that um, it don't wobble when you fix it up. So you want to make sure that it's racked properly. Now I'll show you how to rack it later on. I pre drill my holes now on each end. I'll drill all my holes like so. And I lay it out on top of my board, like so. And I'm going to uh, use my spacing. I'm starting from the very top. And the spacing, each spacing of the slats, I want to have about one foot spacing. Space board. So I do one foot here. Yeah. One foot here, slat, one foot, that's all. Before I get started, I'm on the rack. I'm on the rack. Four by fours. Make sure they're even. Eighty three quarters this direction. I'm gonna make it the other side. Make sure. Eight three quarters. Perfect. Four. Four. Four feet. Perfect. So now it's, everything's racked. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I like to use a lot of the uh, tile bond or just wood glue. I like to use a lot of wood glue on a lot of my project. I pre-drill the holes. I'm going to use probably about an inch, inch and a half screws, wood screws preferably. And I'll just put a little dab of a little glue on each line I've drawn on the wood. So I pre-mark the measurements on the wood. So I get that down there, I place it like so. Then I'll take my drill, I'll do one side, so make sure it's straight. On the other end, so it's even. Try not to split wood. I've got this top portion up. So I'll do the back one. That means the rack stays in place. And 
the bottom. A little glue. It's not necessary to use it as glue at all. However, it's your choice. Straight. stay in place that you can go ahead and add on the other slats between them. Keep in mind I will be building two of these. I'm gonna do the last piece of board. Finishing up my second side, placing my pre mark slat down. I've got the measurements marked already. Pretty much counter sinking all my bolts, all my screws or whatever, you side or nail. And that's it, my two sides are almost finished. I'm going to do the, the front. I'm using a that's a 2 by 12. It's not always 12, but it's 2 by 12. And I'm going to draw it out. The front logo, the front sign, and the front base plate on the base plate on the front of it. Then I'm going to cut it out of the angle. What I'm going to probably do is I got a four footer here. I've already pretty much drawn it. Here I'm gonna do a, a 45 degree angle here. So I draw it across the board, 45 degree angle there. Here, 45. Be straight here. Oh, I can still find out the angle. It's a 45 here. So it's still a 45 on the 45 degree in here. Make sure it's 45. Then I'll get me a piece of wood, a rubber band, and draw the angle I would like to have it. And I, what I did is I used a piece. Carla, come here a minute. Hello. Come here. Hold that ready in the center. What I had my son did, grandson, when you hold it tight, when you just do the angles, this wood right here. Any type of way you want to draw your angle or how you want to design it, it's up to you. We got that finished. And I'm going to do my cutting now. And my, my, my grandson, he's on uh, candy camera. We go cut it in. See if you can find another piece of small piece of two by four. I got one. Okay. This. It's too big. Uh. Why 
one right here. Too big. Right here. Come here. One more long hand. Alright, I'm gonna cut. Here, this one will be for the back of the rear, and this will be for the front. These two. So I just kill two birds with one stone. Front, rear, and I might make some fancy designs in here. I don't know yet. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. Hopefully, you can see. There, I've just preset it up and I've racked it, and you know. Squared off and everything. Got my square. Got my square here. Squared here in all my corners. And then square it off. Square here on the top right here. You can't see it, but square it off at an angle. Square it off here. It looks pretty decent here. Once I check my square, I'll check my measurements. My measurements from here to here. Uh, 49. Make sure. 49. And I pull these water. Yeah, bump it up one inch here. I got bump it up one inch here, one inch lip. Then I put my strip on top. And I went to the very bottom. Make sure I kick it out at least one inch. So when I lay my strips down, it doesn't affect nothing here. It wouldn't bother hit the four by four. And I just bump it up a one inch lip here also. Now I went to the back. Take my back measurement. And I've got 49 inches here. Now this is going to be a little just to go to the very top because it's kind of a little wobbly. As I go along, I will measure this over here. Make sure that it's 49 also. Once so I got directed, got it in position where I wanted it. Now what I'm gonna do is do some measurements here, because I already know the roofs, how the roof is gonna look. So what I do is I measure the roof. My roof has gotta be 
when it to the back, all the way to the back, to the front, has to be 59 inches when I lay them out and I put the slats on it. 51 inches here. And it's gotta be 51 inches. And when you lay it out, make sure you got 51 inches length. For my at 49, so I leave my slats out. I'll be doing my slack plate for example. My slats over here. But they have to be at least 51 inch. So I'm gonna probably go a little lower, probably 54, 56 inches to have an overhang. So I'm gonna have a 51 inch or more. I may make a design on the front or maybe front and back of the slats. I've decided, yeah, or you can put it two by fours on the very top and make your design. It's up to you. But it has to be 51 inches or more. So now, i got a diagram. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow too much. And I'll be able to build the top and go from there. That's it. Once I build this very top, I'll show you. Then I'm going to probably put a few, about three or four more slats. Probably three. One, two, three, on each side. One, two, three. Ah, I haven't decided yet. I may end up placing a two by four here, just basically for the support. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Stay tuned.